Man, I hope this video comes out a little better than my other video did. Uh, got a lot of people asking me on my free track setup I've got, and they want to build their own hat, da 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 da. And uh, this is just a basic, fundamental little video I'll show you on how to build your hat. And this is what I've come up with. I've always kept old power supplies, and this is actually one from Walmart. Now I don't even know if they sell it anymore, but it's old, and it's got a little switch down here on the bottom. Three volt, four and a half volt, six volt, seven and a half volt, nine volt, twelve volt DC is a do all charger whatever had a bunch of places in the back for plugs for miscellaneous stuff and from what I found out I only need three volts and uh, I've been on this for a year and a half not had a problem out of it here's a uh, actual hat itself what I use it's not pretty but I've been on it a year and a half I don't know what I use the infrared LEDs I use these, as a matter of fact, from Radio Shack. Port number 276-0143. Now, these are probably at least a year and a half, two years old. Don't even know if they still make them. Um, Now on my hat, with the three volts and those LEDs, I had to use, I used white out. I had to paint the uh, LEDs themselves with white out because they would be real strong or they would get stronger as or weaker as you turned. And uh, like I said, you might be able to find a better infrared LED one that, uh, possibility may has a constant uh, where no matter where you turn it will put out the same uh, intensity uh, but what I had to do with mine is since when you turn the intensity would change and the free track software tends to like a, a solid or a, the constant needs a constant or it will wig out and you'll go through all that. <laughs> but LEDs will only work one way. And on the back, it'll give you usually the longer one is the, the cathode. I don't know if you can see that or not. But the cathode is the positive side. And here's a real simple series circuit from your power supply positive to the cathode and then from the negative out of that one LED to the positive on the next one from the negative oop, to the positive and then to the negative of your power just like your old Christmas trees lot Christmas tree lot man where you lost one you lost them all <laughs> Now, once you do have the software up and run, and your screen looks like this, well, let me show you my butched web camera. It's a uh, Microsoft, old Microsoft camera. On a, I can't remember if it's a micro, microphone stand. I think it was a microphone stand. With uh, and you can actually see the uh, pieces of film. I've cut and placed uh, over the face of it after removing the uh, little red thing. 
Uh, and don't forget, a common problem that you will have is that if you butch your web camera, it has a microphone, and if you're using a microphone, they will conflict. I don't know. Found that found that out uh, the hard way. But once you have the software downloaded, I mean, it should look like this. It does matter this way. Probably did. But once the now software is downloaded, now I did make a. Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me, a uh, fifteen dollar donation. If you download it and it starts pulling up uh, DLL file missing or something like that, I've run across that from transferring, moving it around. Uh, I don't know what to tell you on that. You may be able to go to Microsoft or. Go somewhere and find this missing DLL if you don't want to pay for it, and and put it in. And good luck on that. But once you got the Butch camera and you got it working and your software is downloaded, you should have a screen like this. And I'm I've got a simple. Each one of the LEDs requires one uh, point two volt, so I've got a uh, one and a half volt Duracell, but I think it'll be all right. And the long one is the cathode, so we're going to hook it on the positive. And with the infrared LEDs, you can't tell they're on. Now when you come over to your uh, your f startup page I don't know if you can see that or not see how it sees the the red blob And now my distance back from the camera, I'll have to measure it. I'd probably say it's probably no more than two and a half feet uh, from setup. <clears throat> Let me put my hat on. But the overall, this is what this this is what you're looking for right here, in the little black window. I'm trying to now look, look while I'm filming this at the same time. Anyways, and then then you'll end up looking like old, a paraplegic like I am. Now I'm gonna move my head around, but uh, if this has helped y'all, and uh, I've got mine working actually to a T. Uh, if you want me to uh, cut more information on how to fine tune and, and uh, detail it where you won't have any glitches and everything, and uh, try to explain everything else, just uh. Uh, leave me a comment on the video, and uh, if I can't explain it online or whatever on uh, the game, I will. Uh, I'll cut you a video on uh, better how to fine tune it once you get to this stage. <laughs> uh, it's been misfire. I'm out.